Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. I want to wish you a happy new year, happy and blessed new year. What we did different this year was each member of our church shared. God bless you as you hear Pat, my friend. I was just talking to Pat about this the other night about all the scriptures that talk about the orphan and the widow. I just remember a pastor wanted to show his congregation where their hearts were. Mm -hmm. So he put a hidden camera out on the front steps of the church, and he hired a a person to look like a dirty old bum, hair disheveled, just looked homeless and lost and dirty, and was asking people if they had any money or if they had something as they came in the church, and they all like, were trying to get out of each other's way so he wouldn't touch them and they were trying to get away from him and they were trying to rush by him so that he wouldn't ask them for something and then he showed the congregation that wow so can you imagine how they felt can you imagine how they felt he didn't even have to preach that day <laughs> he didn't even have to preach you know i i've been guilty of it myself as far as haven't yeah, all of us just rushing somewhere and oh I wish I would have given him something or I, I could have stopped and given him something or I knew I had a dollar or whatever. You know, the Bible says sometimes there are angels out there. They're out there and we're not aware that that may be an angel you're passing out. I wanted to also mention Now this is a testimony that Pat's telling. Check this out. Just something that happened this morning. You know, those little things, you know, I always, not envy Pat or Lynette or any of you or anyone who hears directly from God. It's not an envy, but I don't hear God like that. You know, I hear God to worship or music or uh, uh, open my Bible up and wow, you know, just what I'm thinking about, Lord. I don't hear His voice directing me like you guys do. And if I do, maybe I just don't know it. But this morning, my son and daughter-in-law and family are out of town. So it's just me and Jason in town. And we're in charge of of my son's business. And I open because I'm up early anyway. And Jason closes. So I, I go there in the morning and I open up and wait for the person who's starting the shift, the manager. And I just give them the okay. I get back in my car, it's open, but I don't leave until they come. So they come and I go on. So this morning at about 10, it opens at 10.30. They get there at 10. So at 10.05, nobody shows up. So I said, let me call my daughter-in-law in Washington. I know she's up. And I said, you know what? I don't want to panic and wait till the last minute, but nobody's showing up for work. And she looked at the schedule. She said, we're closed. So they weren't even open. So I said, no biggie. We, we only live, like Pat knows, we only live five minutes from the, the business. Right. So we're right across the street from Walmart. Right. So I said, let me go get a few things from Walmart since I'm out. While I was online, I heard clear as day. You didn't lock up. Oh, wow. Look at God. Because I usually get in my car after I open. And I just leave because they go in. But nobody went in, so I didn't think to get out and lock up. I just left and went to Walmart. Look at that. You finally heard that voice. I was telling Pat, this woman who's a Pentecostal, she says she only eats pizza if it's delivered. So I'm just interjecting a little humor. Breaking news. There are still only two genders made, male and female. God created them. (laughs) Do you know that there's five genders now? Five. And this is what she said, explaining it. You are whatever you feel like you are. (laughs) That's your sex. Can you believe that? That's the world today that we live in. It's what you feel like. Mm -hmm. 
that baby inside of yours, you don't want it. You feel like getting rid of it. It's your body. It's your body. That's the way they say. So, Eat your thing. Do what you want to do. We're sin abounds. I thank God that grace abounds so much more. And my go-to uh, verse this year has been Isaiah 118. Let's reason together. Though your sins are as scarlet, may they be white as snow. Right. So if they be like red, like crimson. Those right. should be like wool. Another little tidbit to remember, Jesus forgives. God forgets. Right. God alone justifies and saves sinners with mm -hmm. no conditions right. placed upon the sinner. Right. Now, if that isn't grace, nothing is. Right. Someone sent me this morning. Okay. The flight attendant is saying, hello, welcome to flight 2022. We are prepared to take off into the new year. Please make sure your attitude is secured and locked in an upright position. All self-destructive thoughts should be turned off at this time. All negativity, hurt, and discouragement should be put away. Should we lose altitude under pressure during the flight, reach up and pull down a prayer. Once your faith is activated, you can assist other passengers. There will be no baggage allowed on this flight. We are cleared for takeoff. Amen. Destination greatness.